So in this demonstration, I'm looking at this painting here, and I, uh, I'm just going to take a look at the first layer of paint, uh, the first wash, which is a graded wash from yellow to an orange. So all the yellow and orange you see in this painting, and the rocks in the foreground and in the, in the sky in the background, are the same wash. And we'll look at how that works out. Right, so here's my yellow paint. That's pure cadmium. Um, and what I have here is a syringe mixed up with cadmium and alizarin crimson. So I've got a sort of uh, orange there, which is a lot deeper. So I've tested my paint. We're ready to go. Starting at the top. So I'm going to paint all the way across the cloud line here in pretty much a pure yellow. This is a wash where you have to be able to work really very quickly. The great thing about cadmium yellow as opposed to other paints is it it has no sediment in it this paint so you've got a lot more time with it than you, you might do with a, um, an ultramarine or a cerulean blue. So there I've, I've established a line of paint, I've just added now some of the orange in, so you can see that that's a deeper colour. Adding more in now. Now it gets a bit trickier because I have to start working my way around all these shapes where the white is here. You've got to keep this line moving the whole time. Now that we've got the alizarin crimson in, um, it gets a little bit more difficult in terms of the fact you would end up with a, um, a watermark if you leave it too long. But when I get to this stage of the painting, this stage of design at any rate, um, I'll have painted this image through, it, through the design process um, maybe 30 times by now <coughs> from its conception so I know what I'm after, I pretty much know all the mistakes, I know where I'm going to go wrong if I am going to go wrong, um, I'm not going to tell you though but it's looking good so far. Right, I'm going to add some more orange in now. It's important to remember as well that as I'm emptying this glass of paint all the time, the orange I'm adding in fact becomes more concentrated, if that makes any sense. Okay, this is a tricky bit. Got to keep working quickly, keep focusing on what I'm doing. this line moving here a bit. Get around this sheep. Okay, more orange. Now, because I've put more, or more orange in here, when I come into this shape it's going to stand out from the what will be the hillside behind it.
move that line down. Always trying to keep working right the way across the whole paper. Whoops, I just painted in a sheep, so I'll have to move it to there. Get some of that deeper orange into here as well. <clears throat> Just adding more paint now, more orange, so we're getting darker again. Probably won't end up too much darker now because we're we're really right into the uh, <coughs> into the foreground here. Just the same with the flat wash here, you just got to keep very light brush and barely touching the paper and you just let the paint sort of just fall down. Keep the line moving all the time. Okay, it's getting a bit more straightforward now. I've got a few less shapes to go around. I might just add one more set of orange there to get right into the foreground. <clears throat> okay, we've got a split in the painting here because it goes both ways. You'll understand that in a minute. So I can just Finish that side, that's that done. And come into here. Nearly there. Okay, the final wash across now. Might just put a nick in there, you'll appreciate why later on. Well you've already seen it. Okay, so you can get my shadow out of the way. You can see the sort of grade there, and the white bits will all turn into that uh, that pale blue. So that's a graded wash, just using two colours. That's cadmium yellow and alizarin crimson. <clears throat> 